In this video, we're going to be looking at astaxanthin and how it can improve hair loss. We're going to look at what astaxanthin is, we're going to look at some of the various health benefits, we're going to look at how it can play a role in blocking DHT, then I'm going to tell you how you can supplement it, and then we'll finally look at the side effects, so stay tuned. Hey guys, Leon here, and welcome to the Hair Guard YouTube channel. On this channel, we create tons of science-backed videos, just like this one, all about how you can combat hair loss and regrow healthy hair. If you are new to the channel, do consider subscribing. So let's get into the video on astaxanthin. First, what is astaxanthin? Well, astaxanthin is an antioxidant, and more specifically, a carotenoid, which is present in the majority of red-coloured aquatic organisms, such as algae, salmon, and crayfish. And it's also, interestingly, what gives flamingos that amazing bright red colour. Now, as a carotenoid, astaxanthin plays a large role in decreasing the risk of certain diseases, as well as neutralising free radicals in the body, which are responsible for the physical signs of ageing, such as greying hair, hair loss and wrinkles. Further, astaxanthin has been proven to halt the production of DHT, a chemical shown to contribute to androgenetic alopecia. So what we'll do is we're going to have a quick look at the health benefits of astaxanthin to help you make a decision on whether or not you might want to start supplementing with it. Astaxanthin is an antioxidant which is used for a variety of medical conditions. Below is just a general overview of the various benefits which astaxanthin provides, including some of the common conditions it has been known to treat. First, astaxanthin is an anti-inflammatory. Astaxanthin works to block a number of inflammation causing chemicals in the body, which means humans can benefit from its supplementation, whether they're struggling with arthritis, pneumonia, or a number of eye conditions which can cause uncomfortable inflammation that can lead to blindness. Also, it's an anti-diabetic. Now, in patients with diabetes, oxidative stress levels tend to be high, which can put further stress on the pancreas. Astaxanthin, however, can help to lower those stress levels as well as improve glucose and insulin numbers. Also, it can help with cardiac disease prevention. Now, an anti-inflammatory, astaxanthin has shown promise in reducing the risk of cardiovascular disease, as well as lowering blood pressure and decreasing the risk of stroke. Also, it can be used in cancer prevention and treatment. It plays an interesting role in the prevention and treatment of cancer and is one of the more effective antioxidants when it comes to decreasing tumor size and increasing cell-to-cell -cell communication. In fact, astaxanthin is increasingly being used in cancer treatment and more research is being done to further understand the role that astaxanthin can play in the future of cancer prevention. Also, we've got eye health promotion. Now, age and diabetes can have a debilitating effect on eye health. As a supplement, however, astaxanthin has been shown to prevent or slow the progression of macular degeneration, cataracts and glaucoma. And obviously, the one that you've all been wanting to know about, what about hair loss and androgenetic alopecia? Well, as a natural inhibitor of enzyme 5-alpha reductase, astaxanthin can lower levels of DHT, uh, and then also immune system defense. There was an eight-week study found that regular supplementation with astaxanthin decreased DNA damage caused by free radicals and increased the activity of natural killer cells. Now, all those claims that we've just made are backed by science, so I'm going to list all the scientific evidence for you in the description if you do want to further your own knowledge. So, obviously we mentioned that astaxanthin could block DHT, so we're going to just have a further look into that right now. Well, in the above list, which boasts the numerous health benefits associated with astaxanthin, it is mentioned that the powerful antioxidant can lower levels of DHT. But what is DHT, and how can the lowering of this one chemical be the answer to hair loss? Well, DHT, also referred to as dihydrotestosterone, is an androgen hormone which is synthesized from testosterone. Increased levels of DHT can lead to a number of worrisome health issues, including prostate cancer and even breast cancer. Aside from this worrisome health effect, however, is that it has also long been believed that DHT is the chemical responsible for androgenetic alopecia, and the enzyme 5-alpha reductase is the culprit which creates DHT when it comes into contact with testosterone. So, as we mentioned, uh, astaxanthin could be effective at blocking DHT, which is thought to be one of the leading causes of androgenetic alopecia or hair loss. Now, DHT is created when the 5-alpha reductase enzyme attaches onto the testosterone hormone. Now, it's not necessarily that people that suffer from hair loss have high levels of testosterone or dihydrotestosterone, but it's actually a sensitivity to DHT that causes hair loss. 
So what happens is the DHT hormone will attack the hair follicles and lead to miniaturization of the hair, which will further impact the hair growth cycle. So when this happens is if this is what's causing your hair loss, which in a large percentage of people suffering from hair loss, this is the main cause. What you can do is you can either stop the dihydrotestosterone or you can stop 5-alpha reductase. And that's why we're so big on things like alkalizing the diet because DHT thrives in an acidic environment. So we want to try and create an alkaline environment to stop an optimal environment for uh, the DHT and 5-alpha reductase. Now, it's thought that astaxanthin could be an effective DHT blocker. So it is something that you may want to add into a routine. But before we go any further, uh, we just want to explain that it's not going to be astaxanthin that is, you know, the cure of your hair loss. It's always going to take a multi-pronged approach, doing things like alkalizing the diet, using a derma roller, scalp massage, regular relaxation. It's always going to take multiple things and a supplement might just give it, you know, a little bit extra along the journey as part of your whole hair care routine. So now let's have a look at how you can start supplementing with astaxanthin. Well, astaxanthin can either be consumed in foods with naturally occurring amounts or taken as a supplement. As an antioxidant, which is abundant in a number of marine organisms, it's not surprising that a variety of wild and farmed fish are the main source of astaxanthin in foods. Keep in mind, however, that astaxanthin does not naturally occur in animals, but is instead a part of an animal's diet. So other great sources of astaxanthin include krill, plankton and green algae. If you'd prefer to take astaxanthin supplementally, it's important to note that a recent study in marine drugs found supplementation to be most effective when combined with omega-3 rich seed oils such as chia or flax. How about side effects? Well, when consumed in amounts found in food, astaxanthin is a safe supplement. Even consumed supplementally, astaxanthin has been shown to be safe in doses of 2 to 4 mg a day and a study has found that human consumption was even safe up to 6 mg per day. Of course, an adverse reaction is possible with any kind of supplementation and those who are pregnant or nursing should consult with the obstetrician prior to taking the supplement. Now, astaxanthin could be something that helps regrow hair due to its ability to reduce the production of DHT. It also has a lot of other health benefits, so it may be worth adding into your hair care routine. However, the reality is getting your healthy hair back is going to take a multi-pronged approach and taking just one supplement is very unlikely to fix everything. Instead, you need to find the root cause of your hair loss and implement a hair care routine that's relevant to you. Now, guys, if you want more expert advice, what you can do is click the link in the description and take the Hair Guard Hair Loss Quiz, and then you'll receive personalized advice on how to combat hair loss. So I'll leave that link for you in the description there. Hope you enjoyed this video on astaxanthin, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.